there are a few different ways to go about importing your draft into iBooks Author. This tutorial will show how to prepare a Word document for import. To demonstrate this workflow, I will use the text of Flatland, which can be found on Project Gutenberg. This approach requires each chapter to be saved as a separate document with section breaks. So, the first step is to separate your chapters into independent files. Within each chapter, you will need to insert section breaks between sections. The first section is implied, so you don't need to worry about it. Once you have inserted all of your section breaks, you can save your document and close Word. Then, in iBooks Author, prepare a chapter on the navigation pane and make sure it is empty. Then, go to Insert and select Chapter from Pages or Word Document. Browse to the document you prepared and insert it. Next, you will be prompted to select a layout for imported content. Choose Section. Notice the Preserved Document Paragraph Styles on Import checkbox. Whether or not you want to choose this will depend on your draft, but if you have put a lot of effort into formatting text in your draft, it could save you a lot of trouble. That is how you import one chapter into iBooks Author. Remember to look over your chapter and make sure everything went smoothly before doing your entire book. The import process is not perfect, but it should give you a starting point in iBooks Author, especially if your book has a lot of sections in it.